Raider Nation, what's up, baby? Y'all already know who it is, Doc. So look, let me get right to it, bro. My game preview for the Chargers. So look, I want to kind of take a look at the Chargers schedule. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go through the games. And you know, just a little info. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we know the Chargers pretty good. They beat us the last time we played. I'm going to get to that game. But I just want to look at their schedule as a whole. We got the same record. So, hey, appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Much love, much respect, dog. You feel me? I mean, hey, this is our chance, Rare Nation. That's all I can say. We done fought our way back, all the way back. This our chance. You know what I'm saying? This our chance. Went out 10-7. Playoffs. I mean, hey. What more can I say? This our shot. Let's not shit the bed. So look. Let me get to this little schedule right here. You know what I'm saying? I just want to go through the games. All right, look. Week one, they played Washington. A team we lost to. They won that game. It was a close game. 20 to 16. Herbert had 337. Eckler had high, uh, over 50 yards rushing. So Eckler was catching passes. And Herbert, he was on. Over 300 yards. So he connected. So let's go to week two. They played Dallas. They lost that game. Another close game. 20 to 17. So their defense is keeping the game close. That's what that's showing me so far. In that game, Herbert had 338. Eckler had another 50-yard rushing game. But they lost by three. Close game. Lost by three. Close. Herbert had one more yard than he had in week one. He had 338 in week two. He had 337 in week one. Consistent. All right. Then they played the Chiefs. They beat the Chiefs. 30-24. to 24. In that game, Herbert had 281. Eckler had another 50-yard game rushing. Rushing. Now, I don't got the pass stats, uh, receiving stats right here. Just looking at this. So, hey, Herbert was on too. He had to be on. Eckler was out there catching passes again. So, that's another pattern that I'm seeing. They throw the ball to their back. You know what I'm saying? He spread the ball around to everybody. Get the ball to Cook. I mean, he know how to get out the pocket. It's going to be tough. We got to get after him. We got to get after him, bro. All right. Now, right after they beat KC, they played us. We know what happened. We, we couldn't score 21 points. So we were we going to win. You know what I'm saying? We scored 14 fucking points. Turnovers, you know, all that shit. We lost. Herbert only had 222 passing. But guess what? Boy, Eckler had a 117-yard rushing, dog. Killed him. Killed him. So they won that game. All right, let's go to week five. They played the Browns, a team we beat. It was a shootout with the Browns. Score was 47-42. Herbert, Herbert pretty much had 400 yards. He had 398. Eckler had 66 on the ground. So, I mean, shoot, he was connecting that game. So like I say, bro, Justin Herbert, bro, we got to try to get to this boy. We got to try to get to this boy, man. We got to get to this boy. All right? Man, we got to get to this boy. All right, look. The next week they play uh, Baltimore right before the bye. Baltimore whooped them, though, 34-6. Herbert only had 195 yards passing that game. So Baltimore defense, bro, they came with it. And 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 they totally shut down the run because the high rush yards in that game was Herbert with 12 yards rushing. So they shut down everything against them. Just saying, you know, the Ravens got defense, but that's how Baltimore was able to totally shut them down. So look, they go to the bye week. That's week seven. Week eight, they come back. They play New England. They don't play some teams, bro. They don't play New England. They lost to New England by three. 
27-24. In that game, Herbert had 223. You know what I'm saying? The same amount, almost the same amount of yards he had versus us, 223. And uh, they other running back, Jackson, he had 79 yards rushing. So they got two backs. They got two backs who can do something. You know what I'm saying? The Pats beat them by three. Close game. All right. Let's go to the next game right after that. Week nine. They played the Eagles. We played the Eagles. They beat the Eagles by three. Herbert had 356 in that game, though. So he was killing. The highest in rush yards was 59 yards. So that boy was killing it in the air. All right. Let's go to the next game right here. They play the Vikings, bro. They lost to the Vikings by a touchdown. All these games is close, bro. The majority of these games I just went through, bro. Close games, close games. They pull them out. They pull them out. So look. All right, look. Boom, Minnesota. In that game, Minnesota defense, they, they shut that boy down. He had 195 yards passing only. You know what I'm saying? And Minnesota was able to pull that out by seven. The highest rush yards was 44 yards by Eckler. So, you know what I'm saying? They shut Herbert down, bro. They gave themselves a chance. So, look. Let's go to the next game. The Steelers. I mean, shit, boy. It was a shootout with the Steelers. 41-37. They won that game, though. They beat the Steelers week 11. In that game, he come right back. He had 382 yards. Pass it. You feel me, bro? In the shootout. And he had 90 yards rushing. Okay? We got to get to this boy. You understand? You know what I mean? I mean, a couple teams that came with the formula for his ass. But, bro, the boy bounced right back, get 300 something on your ass. So we got to get to that boy, Justin Herbert. We got to get to him, dog. All right? Now, look, let's keep going. The next game after that, bro, they play the Broncos. They lost to the Broncos. The Broncos defense held them to 13 points. Of course, you know, we played the Broncos. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? The Broncos was able to, Broncos defense was able to hold him. You know what I mean? Even though he had 303, but shit, they must they shut down the run. You know what I'm saying? So look. Go to the next game. Got the Bengals. They play Cincinnati, too. We play Cincinnati. They whoop Cincinnati, bro. 41 to 22. We ain't even show up versus the Bengals. And I'm just saying, all right? In that game, Herbert had 317, bro. He had 317 in that game. We got to get to this boy. All right? All right. Week 14. They played the Giants. We played the Giants. Okay, they whooped the Giants, 37-21, all right? 275 on the game, almost another 300-yard game. High in rushing was 67 yards. Bruh, we got to get to this boy, okay? You know what I'm saying? He can win the goddamn game by himself. I'm just saying, like, the boy, we got to get to Justin Herbert. God, that boy is the focus, man. All right, let's keep going. Look, now look, this next game, bro, y'all going to be surprised, dog. Because remember, we played uh, KC, right? They whooped our ass both times, right? Okay, they beat Kansas City close game. Now, this is the second time they played. Check it out. They lost to KC in overtime, bro, but guess what the score was? 34-28. I'm just saying, bro, they defense figured out a little something about the goddamn KC. They had close game with KC. We can't even get close with KC. So, look, they lost to the Chiefs, though, week 15. Herbert had 236 right there. You know what I'm saying? A little bit less. I mean, shit, boy, we got to hold this boy under 300 yards, bro. We got to try to. If we can do that, that's a start. And try to shut down everybody else. That's why I'm looking at while I'm going through this schedule right here. So, look, let's keep going. All right. The next game after the KC game, we in week 16. They played the Texans. I mean, the Texans, bro, they was due for one. 
and they whooped them. You know what I'm saying? They whooped them. Herbert had 336 in that game. Them boys still whooped, got whooped. You know what I'm saying? Jackson had 64 yards rushing. And in the previous game, in the KC game, Jackson had 86 yards rushing. So that boy can get over 50, 60 yards in the game. So we got to be on that boy too. I mean, I'm just saying, just I'm just talking about the running backs and the quarterback. The quarterback throwing for 300, I already know everybody getting the ball. So I ain't got to go look at the receiver. I mean, shoot, he's spreading that bitch around. I mean, you know, they getting the yardage. So, look, they lost that game. But we got the same record. So, okay, the last game they played, they played the Broncos again, bro. And they beat the Broncos this time. Scored 34 points on them, 34-13 on them. Like, remember when they played the Broncos before? They lost 28 to 13. You know what I'm saying? They came right back focused against the Broncos and took it to them. I'm just saying. In that game, Herbert, I mean, shit, he only had 237 in that game. So, look, I went through this schedule because I wanted to show you the teams. We, we done played some of the same teams. We done beat, both beat some of the same teams. We done lost to some of the same teams. You know what I'm saying? We play some of the same teams this year, and we got the same record. So we pretty even with the Chargers. We match up pretty good with them, but we got to figure out how to get to Justin Herbert, bro. We got to slow him down, dog. We got to slow the boy down, man. I'm looking at all these 300-yard games and shit, and I'm like, bro, we got to get to that boy. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? We got to get to that boy. We got to get to that boy. I mean, of course, we got to get to Eckler, everybody else like that. But, bro, we got to get to the, we got to get to that boy, man. We cannot let that boy go off like that. You know what I'm saying? Now, if we if we just scoring like that, you know what I'm saying, it's just a shootout and we keeping up, then okay. But, man, I really don't want it to be a shootout, bro. I want to beat the Chargers, bro. I want to take the lead, bro, and beat the Chargers. Or if the game is close, bro, we can win it in the end. I don't want it to be a shootout. You feel me? I don't really don't want it to be a shootout, though. But we got to get to that boy, man. You know what I'm saying? He done had multiple, multiple, multiple 300-yard games, bro. And most of the time when he throw over 300, they win. Most of the time. You know what I'm saying? Um, We've been good on the run. You know what I'm saying? We've been pretty good on the run. But we got to figure out how to get to Eckler, bro, in the passing game. You know what I'm saying? That's what they're showing me right here. Like, he getting the ball to him, too. He getting the ball to the other back, him. He getting the ball to Cook. He getting the ball to Williams. He getting the ball to Allen. He getting the ball to everybody. You feel me? So we got to get to his ass, bro. D-line got to get to him. We got to be a little aggressive in this game because he will get out the pocket and scramble. So we got to be on point, bro. And... And they're going to try to run the misdirection play. They're going to try to run the rollout. They're going to try to do all that to throw us off in this game, bro. We got to be ready for it. So, look. Let me get to the eight keys, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the little schedule thing. You know what I'm saying? I just thought I'd do something different. Just kind of go through the other team's schedule. Since it's the last game. And, you know, just look and see. I mean, shit. We know we got to get to Herbert. What, what is this, this showing me right here? I'm like, bro. We got to get to that boy. We cannot let that boy connect on a whole bunch of goddamn throws. And if we could get to him, if he squirm out the pocket, maybe that'll give maybe that'll give the corner and secondary a little bit more time to get to their man. You know what I'm saying? Because he liked them type of plays. When the play break down, he running. He liked to throw on the run. And you know what I'm saying? They got some tall receivers, bro. So we got to stick to them boys. So we do match up even uh, with this team. That's all I'm saying. We we got the same record. We done play some of the same teams. I mean, shit, bro. I ain't think it was going to come down to the last game of the season. But look, it is, though. I said that shit when I made the schedule. I said, bro, we got to get enough wins so it won't have to come down to the last game of the season. But hey, I mean, hey, we here. But, man, I want to win this game. I don't want to lose and still get in the playoffs. That's trash. I want to beat the Chargers, bro. We owe y'all one, Chargers. We owe y'all one, dog. You feel me? 
Sure. We owe y'all one. But look, let me get to the eight keys, man. So I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Much love, much respect, man. You're right. So look, the A key. All right, we're going to start out on defense. The number one key for us on defense, though, dog. Shut down the tight end and the running backs in the passing game. Look, Mike Williams and the other boy, they going to get the ball, bro. You feel me? Them boys got the height. I mean, they're going to get the ball. But if we can slow down both of their backs and Jared Cook, we'll have a better chance. You know what I'm saying? On defense. Number two. This is number two key on defense for us right here, bro. Let's try to play clean, dog. No flags on defense. No flags. All right. Number three key. This is the number three key, though. Man, bro, try to make them boys put the ball on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Eckler running with the ball, try to make him put the ball on the ground. Hey, if if, if Justin Herbert want to try to scramble on this, bro, let's knock that ball out. You know what I'm saying? And the final key for us on defense, the final key, the final key, though, the final key, bro, at all costs, at all costs. Shut down the run game. Force Justin Herbert to throw the ball. Try to make him one-dimensional all the way. If you can. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we, we got to live with the pass. We got to live with it. They're going to get some catches. But if we can shut down the run, you know what I'm saying? We can slow them down. And maybe we can get to Herbert a couple times. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we can get them boys to fumble. So, hey, them the keys right there, bro, on defense. Now, offense, bro. Now, look, Waller, he might play. He might not play. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Jacobs hurt. If he could play, I would use him limited. I don't know. But I'm going to say this. Whoever out there running back, bro, let's try to run the ball on him, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let's try to run the ball on him. Let's see if we can run it on him. Whoever we got out there. Let's try to get the line moving. Then maybe we could throw some screens. We sure are good on the screens. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Peyton Barber, Regis, whoever we got. If Jacobs can play a little bit, a little bit, that'll help us too. You know what I'm saying? But we got to be able to run the ball a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Let's try it. Now, all right, here we go. The number two key. The number two key on offense, bro. Car. Listen, baby. This your time, man. It's your time, Car. You know what I'm saying? Stay upright in this game. You feel me? And we gonna get to the goddamn playoff. We win. All right, Car? That's all that's on the line. You ain't got to worry about nothing else. Don't think about nothing else but winning this goddamn game. All right. The number three key on offense. This is the number three key, though. Olsen. No stupid ass play calling in this game, bro. Let's move the ball. Let's use our players. Let's try to keep the ball moving. Let's try to keep a drive moving. Let's run the clock out on them if we can. Let's try to do it. All right. And the final key, though. This is the final key for us on offense, though, bro. This is the final key. And to me, the most important key. O line. Hold up. Y'all boys hold up this game, dog. Y'all gonna get us in there, baby. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else gonna do their job. Just hold up O line in the run game. Open up some holes. And then the passing game, bro. Protect Carr, bro. Give him some time. Give him some time to throw. You know what I'm saying? Sacrifice your body, bro. You feel me? Because we do not need to let that boy get hurt. You know what I'm saying? And we, we trying to go to the playoffs right now. You know what I'm saying? We need the boy upright, okay? O-line. Protect car. And open up some run lanes. 
do that for us, bro, and everybody else step it up, we'll fucking win the game. The game is won in the trenches, bro. That's why I said we got to get the Herbert, bro, and the O-line got to step it up. Big time this game. We can win this game in the trenches. We just got to step it up, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that was the final key, bro, the O-line. Step it up. So, hey, let me get up off here, dog. Much love, much respect, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in once again. And uh, if I didn't say it before, happy new year, all, you know what I'm saying, Raider fans, everybody, man. Not just Raider fans, just happy new year. You know what I'm saying? To everybody, I've been saying that. Being out and about, you know what I'm saying, random people. Happy New Year, y'all. Happy New Year. Because, man, the world is changing, ain't it? As we speak. So, hey, much respect, Ray Nation, everybody out there at the game. Y'all be safe, bro. You know what I'm saying? Have a good time. And let's get this victory. So, hey, let me go now. Let me go. The next time I come on here, bro, we better be in the playoffs. You feel me? Yeah. The next time I come on goddamn YouTube, and we better be in the fucking playoffs. You hear me? So, hey, let me get up off here, bro. Here we go. Ready Nation for life. I'm out. Just win. Play hard. Try not to make mistakes. But don't worry about mistakes because there's only one thing that counts, just win.